we have? Our client on the table. They're lying face down, fully covered by the towel right up to the neck. Underneath is a folded up towel to give a little bit more height across the shoulders. And the cradle is tipping away very slightly to give more access across the shoulders and the neck. If it need to, when you get there, it can go even lower, but not low all the time. Otherwise, the person will have blood rushing to their head. Underneath their legs here, they have a pillow, which particularly for tall men, as in this instance, means you lift the foot so that it's not uncomfortable. And then an additional towel to cover the feet to keep the feet warm. I keep the oil in these little containers, much easier to use than big ones. Squidgy, so you can squeeze it and set it between the feet so the client doesn't feel it, but it means you have the oil on the table at all times. Now warming my hands and the opening for our massages hold. One hand on the small of the back and one across the back of the shoulders. This is a calming movement both for the client and for the therapist. Gives you the opportunity to feel the energy beneath your hands, see whether or not their pulse is racing, and it calms them. If they are still quite uncomfortable and a bit edgy, you could ask them to do some gentle breathing. Hold it for as long as you wish, and then remove your hands gently. Again, warm them up. Make sure that you've got warm palms, hot palms if you can. There's nothing worse than being touched by cold hands. You then take the towel down. There are different ways of managing it. You can leave it sitting like that or alternatively you can tuck it in. That means the bulk of the towel is on the bottom but that may be comfortable. If you're using two towels which go like that then you just remove one. Then you squeeze the oil onto your hand and again warm it. There is no need to completely cover the back of your hands with oil because you're not going to be using that on the client. Move to the head and stand ready for the first movement which is the effleurage. And this is a warming stroke. Starting at the shoulders and working down the body. And you push down with straight fingers and pull up with splayed fingers. And this is a gentle stroke. It's an opening stroke and it has three elements to it. You're spreading the oil across the skin. The client is getting used to the feel of your hands. In some instances, you may well still be warming your hands up. And at the same time, you're able to feel what is happening underneath the skin so that you're prepared for any deeper work you are likely to do later. Now, in terms of posture, bend from the hip. Try to keep your arms as, as much in the same position as possible. However, with someone who's tall like this, it's not necessarily easy. And you can work from the side and turn around and continue to work going up the body rather than down. This stroke is you keep your hands flat in a fairly medium speed, not slow like the later massage you'll give, but not too fast. You keep your hands flat on the body. Make sure you always cover both sides of the body. And if you look at my posture, you see that when I'm standing on this side of the table, my outer leg is forward. And when I'm on the other side of the table, it's the other way around with this outer leg that's forward. That means you're facing into the table, but that your strokes are going in the direction of your front foot. You can do effleurage for as long as you want long, short, and as you're working the effleurage, you can make it deeper and deeper so that when you start the deeper massage, you flow straight into it. It isn't as if there's a break and then you start again.